Hello, Shane Simpson back with you here from Guitar Work. How are you? This is uh, I'm Going Home, uh, Hootie and the Blowfish, off that huge album, believe it or not, it was out in 1995 called Cracked Rear View. One of my favorite rock albums for sure. Just non-stop uh, hit after hit after hit. Um, really, really great song here. It's going to get you warmed up some bar chords if those are new to you. And if not, uh, this is sort of a jazzy element tune. They're minor seventh chords. I think you're going to find they're actually some of the easier uh, bar chords to play because we're only using two fingers on this guy. Um, so what we're going to have here, and I I want to thank you for coming back and subscribing and all that happy stuff. It's uh, meant a lot to hear from you in the comment section and all that, um, and just suggestions for songs and everything. This is for Joel. Joel here in Ottawa, you know who you are. We're working on this one, and uh, it's been a good uh, it's been a good run with you for sure. Um, cracked rear view of the record. I'm going home the song, and we've got just a few chords here going on. You got E. We'll talk about the strumming pattern too. There's a really good strumming pattern for you. E in there. I'm going to take just quickly through the chords, and if these chords are new to you, you're going to want to stop tape and get those together for sure. There's an E. You'll see a picture of that guy in the top line. And I should tell you, uh, head to patreon.com to get the sheets for this. I'll be referring to this sheet right here all through the song. Uh, so you're going to want that. Patreon.com slash guitar at work. Patreon.com slash guitar at work. We're also going to do, uh, just in a few minutes here, I'll do another video on the uh, the actual solo, the intro solo. There's a really great guitar solo in there. I'll do it on the electric. You can also do it on the acoustic. And I'll do the actual solo in the mid middle of the song as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, so go grab that sheet from patreon.com slash guitar work. You've seen an E chord there, that guy there. And that's going to go in the verse section, it's going to go to a G sharp minor seventh. Notice I have got the fourth fret barred all the way across all six strings. Now ring finger is on the sixth fret of that A string. There we go, G sharp minor seventh. Don't let the name fool you, it's actually one of your easier bar chords. G sharp minor seventh. Notice my middle finger is also squishing down. He's, he's, he's not doing anything, so you may as well help squish down on that guy. There you go. A, a good bar, typically for me anyways, I'm almost right on top of that silver fret you're seeing there, and then I'll roll them to my left just to get rid of the creases from your knuckles that tend to cause a lot of that buzzing you might be getting. You might be hearing some of this in your own. Hey, that's normal. We will go through that. A little pull from the left shoulder too, so it's not all crush power. Uh, definitely helps for sure. Uh, that very same chord just drags down two frets. Watch the Roman numerals there, or the, uh, the fret markers on the diagrams. F sharp minor seventh. Exactly the same shape. I've gone from four to two. F sharp minor seventh and back to E. That's your verse section which is a lot of the song right there. I'll take you through that again. Here's an E. G sharp minor seven up here on the fourth fret. F sharp minor seventh down two and down to E. Well, let's get to the strumming in a sec but in the chorus uh, in the chorus bit it starts in an E that and then a B sus four chord. Now, if you've seen a power chord before, very much the same shape here. I'm on the second fret of that A string, fourth fret of the D, and fourth fret of the G. That guy there, that's the one. And we're, we're letting the high E and the B string ring open. So you hit, it's only one X in that chord, I'm hitting five strings on that guy. Get that beautiful ringing of the high E and the B open. There we go. And that's gonna go to a D. Piece of cake for you there. And then that's gonna go to an A. There's your chords. Uh, the chorus would be this, E, B sus4. I should tell you from E to B sus4, your ring finger can stay on the same string and just drag up. It's not much, but it gives you something to get there with. B sus, D here. Here's an A coming, not going home. Right. So there's your chorus chords. Let's go through the strumming patterns now, but I'll remind you, if those chords are new to you and you're struggling with those, uh, if there's any hesitation in that left hand, the right hand's not gonna know what to do now. We're getting to that strumming pattern. So stop tape, come back. It's completely reasonable. Get those chords together. You're not only gonna use them in this song, use them in a million other songs too. So we'll see you come back after that. Um, the, the strumming pattern, I'm just gonna sit on E a little bit here. Uh, now he is doing other things. When somebody imposes a strumming pattern on you, there's always lots of variation, but something that captures maybe the spirit of the song would be this guy. You kind of hear it in the intro. I'll go bass meaning referring to the lowest note in the chord. So it's an E, the low E string, bass, then an upstroke, and then a whack. Side of your hand, just whack those strings. So you get bass, up, whack. Again, that's going bass, up, whack. Here it is again, three, four, bass, up, whack. That's it. Uh, now a good whack, if you really want that big snare strand, sound, because the, uh, the, the whack is coming in on beats two and four, which is where the snare is going to be. So you get bass, up, whack. A really good way to get it is as you're resting, as you're hitting the, the strings, drag your pick through those deadened strings like that. So simultaneously, whack. So bass, up, whack. And you get that nice snare kind of cut sound. Bass, up, whack. Again, bass, up, whack. 
bass up, whack. That's it. So work on that. That uh, can be elusive for sure. I'll remind you a good rest here on your forearm, not your bicep. You won't get much detail that way. So we started out this way, bass up, whack. Second half of the bar again goes bass up, whack. But the second bass note is pushed. That means it comes in a little earlier. It's going to come in on the end. Here's a full bar so you can hear bass up, whack, bass up, whack. See that second bass note was a little earlier than you might want it to be. It's going three, four, bass up, whack, bass. And there's a fair distance between that second bass note and the next upstroke because it was pushed. Push means come in early, I should say. Here's E3. I'll just go round and round on E. Play along. Three, four, E. Bass, up, whack, bass, up, whack. Bass, up, whack, bass, up, whack. And a bass, up, whack, bass, up, whack. And a bass, up, whack, bass, up, whack. And a bass, up, whack, bass. Now I'll take it through the progression in the verse, E, G sharp minor seventh, F sharp minor seventh, and then back to E. It begins and ends on E, watch out for that. You're gonna have to go around twice on the E when it repeats. Here's a full verse, three, four, E, bass, up, whack, bass, up, whack, G sharp minor seventh, F sharp minor seventh, and to an E, bass, up, whack, bass. E repeats now, again, bass, up, whack, bass, up, whack, G sharp minor seventh, F sharp minor seven, and back to E. That's old Matt. Might be a little quick for you. Stop tape. Uh, another good thing too, the whack on beat four actually gives you a little bit of time to change. You noticing that? Take take opportunity there. You go bass up whack bass up go bass up whack bass up go and a bass whack bass up whack and a bass up whack. Yeah, and as fundamental as it might sound, when you're going from E to G sharp minor, if you're not used to crawling up the neck like that, when you're playing your E, don't stare at them, stare at your next destination. You're playing the E, you're already looking, where's that fourth fret? Okay, I got it, uh, boom. It's not a big surprise when you have to move. And a bass, up, whack, bass, up, whack, and a bass, up, whack, bass. We'll get to a play along here at a slow version of it and also a, uh, a full speed version in just a sec, take you through the chorus and we'll get to the slow play along where you can just hammer it out with me. Um, the chorus just is going to go to a straight down up strum, okay? It's going to be E, two and three and four and nothing to it. Just this one and two and three and four and a B sus four, one and two and three and four and then a D, one and two and three and then an A, one and two and three. Here it is again. E, one and two and three. B sus four and one and two and three. D. La 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 la. A, I'm going home. Two. I'll put the accents now on two and four in that chorus to really drive it. That's what a snare is. We did that in the Can't You See video by Marshall Tucker. Here's E, three, four. Beats two and four. Soft, loud, soft. B sus. Soft, loud, soft, loud. D, soft, loud. A coming. One and two and three and four. And again, E, and two and three. B sus. One and two and three D here. One and two A coming. One and two. There we go. So let's now with slow play along. The song comes in at 110 beats per minute full speed with the fabulous Beat Buddy uh, drum machine here. I'm going to bring it down to 90 just for a practice, and then we'll uh, we'll definitely bring it up to full speed just right after that. So 90 beats per minute. I'll do a verse and a chorus just so you get the hang of that. The verse is going to go around. That sequence will go around four times before we hit that chorus. So here it is at what did I say? 90 beats per minute on the fabulous beat buddy just using a straight ahead uh, rock beat or blues beat doesn't really matter four beats in the bar so that's going one two three boy oh, that's at 90. Two. here's your verse i'll count you in one two three four e g sharp minor seven f sharp minor seven and an e three more e again g sharp minor seven F sharp minor seven, and here's an E. Two more, E again. G sharp minor seven, F sharp minor seven, and an E. E again. G sharp minor seven, F sharp minor seven, and an E. Chorus, E, straight strumming. One, two. Three B sus. D da da da. A 
coming. One, two, three, E here. One, two, three, B sus. D da 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 da. A, I'm going home. Back to the verse. Three, four, E. Gonna switch patterns there. F sharp minor seven. And an E. Let's do another one. E. G sharp minor seven. F sharp minor seven. And an E. Let's go two more. E again. Yeah, play it all. G sharp minor seven. F sharp minor seven. E. One more. G sharp minor seven. Sharp minor seven and an E. Chorus E. Here we go. Now one, two, three. B sus. D. Da, 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 da. A. I'm going home. See, here's an E coming. One, two. B sus here. D. Da, 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 da. A coming. Da, da, da. Yeah, then we're back. We're going to hit the uh, verse again. So great. That was at 90, as I said. Uh, full speed is a 110. I'll bring that up here. Uh, the fabulous Beat Buddy. Uh, I'm in no way affiliated with the company, but I absolutely love that pedal. I use it all the time. It's connected to my looper. And uh, just after this, I'm going to shoot the... Um, the uh, video for the solo. It's a great guitar solo in that. If you want to learn to improvise, it's a really, really great bit of vocabulary out of the pentatonics major scale and a couple of little flavory uh, extra notes in there as well. Um, but highly recommend you, you get on that one. It's a good first solo if it's your first solo for sure. Uh, that's coming right up in the next video. Um, now uh, at 110, uh, let's do it at 110. Uh, two ways to go about this. You could either, if those chords are new to you, you're gonna have to get really get in there and nail them and nail them, come back, play along. The other way too is even the slow one or the quick one that we're just about to do. Uh, if your chords are almost there, get in and fight for your life in real time. Meaning, here's an E. One. Here's, so we're in the chorus, let's say E, two. Supposing you can't quite get to that B sus on time. One, two, three. I'm gonna blow it. Oh. There we go. But keep the right hand going and fix the chord on the fly. That's just really, really good instinct development. And uh, when you stop, you not only have a, a harmonic bump here, maybe you get some strange noises, but you also have a rhythmic bump that when you're playing with others is tough to overcome. So it might look something like this if you're struggling with the chords. E in the chorus, B sus. I kept strumming. Okay, D. There, A. One, two, three. That, at least I'm getting some of it, and that's really good instinct development. You're going to get some strange noises coming from your general direction, but that's okay. Okay, so two ways to practice. One is to be really, really disciplined about getting to those chords. The other way is to jump into the deep end of the pool and just try to give it a go, and you're going to miss some stuff like anybody else would. Okay, uh, here it is at 110, a couple of verses, a couple of choruses. Play along. Here it is, four count. Whoop, two. Oh, that's fast. And now, G sharp minor seven, F sharp minor seven, and E. Three more, E again. G sharp minor seven, F sharp minor seven, and an E. E again. One, two, three. G sharp minor seven, F sharp minor seven, and an E. Last one, E. G sharp minor seven, F sharp minor seven, and E. Here we go, chorus. And an E. B e sus. E coming, E coming, B sus, D, da, 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 A, go, E coming, B sus, da, da, D here, da, 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 A, I'm going home. E here, three, four, and one. B sus, da, 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 D, da, 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 A, I'm going home. Now here we go, verse. G sharp minor seven, F sharp minor seven, E, bow, E again. G sharp minor seven, two more, one, two, three again. G sharp minor seven, F sharp, and back to E. Last one coming, E here. G sharp minor seven, F sharp minor seven. And chorus twice through. Here we go. E, one, two, 
to Ibiza. Back to it. G sharp minor seven. Good. F sharp minor seven. E. Three more. E again. G sharp. F sharp. And an E. Two more. E again. G sharp. F sharp. And an E. One more. E again. G sharp. F sharp minor seven, E last chord, double chorus, two, three, here we go, and a one, B sus, da 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 D da 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 A coming, one, two, E again, G sharp, a B sus, sorry, D here, da 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 da, A I'm going home, here's an E coming, B sus, da 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 D da da da. Good. B sus. Da, 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 da. A. I'm going home. And we take it out like that. Good stuff. That was it. Full speed, 110 beats per minute. And you may have struggled to keep up speed wise with that, but a little work on those chords, and it'll give you just fine. Um, so, hey, that was a good one. And uh, love Hootie and the Blowfish. And I think you'll enjoy playing that song. It gets you moving up the neck a little bit. So I'll thank you again for coming back, subscribe and all that. There'll be an opportunity to do that in a second. And uh, if you hit the little bell notification, it just tells you when new videos have come out. It's no other thing more true than that. Keep the comments, suggestions coming. And uh, it's always been a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see you again soon for the next one. The solo's coming up in the very next video, guys. So thanks again. Eh? Okay, bye-bye. Eight, one, <laughs> three, yeah. Oh.